my name is TF2 Public Ferret. Uh, I'm on Skull 5 Gorge EU. Standard rules apply. If you don't like the sound of my voice, please, please, uh, you know, go to the main menu, uh, go to the uh, mute button, which is the ear with the extra in, and find me in there and say mute in game voice. Um, even works in chat as well. You know, it's actually a really, really good function and can really, really make your day much easier. Anyway, today we're in um, Five Gorge. Good map. Uh, if you know how to, you know, run around and scout and get around behind people, it really, really works. Anyway, today from looks of it, you know, I think one of the big problems Blue has right now is they are picking a particular class choice which is not really considered very mobile. Maybe effects of range, but not mobile. And this is where, you know, uh, Red Team is winning out. They're kind of getting to the points quicker. And, you know, they, they've got much better face-to-face -face contact ability. Now, from the looks of it, okay, better take middle point. Reasonably, reasonably standard gameplay for the time being. Blue's team is a little bit lost. They're just not sure where to go for the time being. But, you know, that's, that's safe. That's fine. To be fair, servers are a little underpopulated today. Uh, only 16 players on. You usually get about 24. That's thing I, I do find that, you know, uh, Five Gorge is not one of the more popular of servers. But, you know, it'll do. Okay, it looks like Red Team is thinking about moving up. Uh, you know, Bad Grammar there is kind of thinking about advancing, but he hasn't got his team behind him, which, you know, is kind of a worry for a heavy. Well, not in a negative way, man. Don't worry. It's all, it's all fun. Galactic Ninja hightailing out. Oh, they're nasty done. The thing with, uh, you know, Pyros is they aren't really... They are a frontline class, but you're more designed to, you know, ambush people and just generally, you know... And annoy and murder them in a corner somewhere. Or use crits, that's just always fun. I like people have a stigma with the uh, phlogistination on the back burner, but for me that's the old fashioned way of playing Pyro. You know, you shouldn't be burn people to death and just watch them their corpses horribly burn on the floor. Kinda satisfying. Now in any case, look at the blue team this time hasn't really given up on, you know, going for midpoint. Although they're not capping it just yet. I mean, they're kind of wandering all around the point, but they might want to sit themselves down on it. Okay, looks like, um, yep, Geist there. Oh, he, he was brave, uh, but, you know, the red sniper was on that. Hmm, so I've meant he has something on the mind. Now, in any case... Luca's Maze Aid mod. Luca Maze nod over the, over the, down there. Kind of you know, murdering things up. Doing a nice job. I think that's a lucky crit flames for you. That's one of the nice things with the standard weapons, actually. The standard weapons do give you the ability to, uh, you know, get random crits from time to time. People think, you know, it's the spawn of the devil, but personally, I like random crits. Makes the game a little bit more interesting. Oh, wow, that was a nice jump stab there from uh, Geist. Not sure how he did it. I think he got uh, assisted into the air with that. Blue uh, making a bit of a push for the middle here. It does seem as if, you know... They are kind of thinking about moving up blue teams. They're not actually really getting themselves on there. Red team, I might be on the offensive. The thing is, I'm not seeing here. I mean, there's, a, there's quite a sparse, you know, teams today. They, you know, they might want to consider actually, um, you know, using scouts and getting around them. I think I do have to feel once more explain, you know, please, please feel them free feel to mute me if you don't want to hear me. Uh, you don't have to listen to me like this, and there are ways of, you know, keep me quiet. But nobody knows how to mute for some reason. And also, I can't actually hear you guys because um, I've got the incoming volume receiver down, so I can't actually hear a word you're saying. You have to type things up in chat if you want to hear me. And that's one way. Um, you can do that, but.
But, you know, you have to get something to vote up for it. Uh, and if you kind of, like, don't give people the option, or, you know, I'll be a nice commentator. I'm trying to help people. Here you go. Here's how you shut me up. I'm giving you tools to my own destruction. It's all good. Guys, it's a stamina up higher there. That little tiny shame there. Now, in any case, we have taken fourth point, and looks like Blue is going to fold soon. I haven't seen any real big sentries up for the time being. You know, Blue team's being a little bit maybe, um, you know, not so forthcoming with the uh, engineers for them at the moment. The thing is, though, you know, Red's actually using the combat classes, and, you know, they're kind of making success successes that way. And that's a nice win there from Red Team, just simply moving up and killing everything off. Anyway, round two. Um, okay, teams are relatively equal now. It's looking good. You know, although, you know, Blue Team might be thinking of gearing up a bit harder. Um, you know. It's looking good, though. Okay, now let's see who gets the first point. Are we going to be a bit more of a race today, or is it going to be a bit more of a stalemate affair? A little advantage over there. Okay, nice double cap. But nope, not enough scout, and I don't think Red could steal the point just that quickly. But they're giving it a go, though. They are already off on top of that. I mean, people, some people re re reluctant to take points, but you know, you really need to because you get your benefits having an advanced spawn point. It's really helpful for you, and especially the uh, second spawn point uh, in your opponent's one because that pretty much gives you the game. This is a very overbalanced map in terms of you know spawn points. Not from Mother Warrior, they're just surprising people. Oh, but didn't see Galactic Ninja from behind, though. I, I, to be fair, he's a ninja. They are kind of sneaky in that regard. And in any case, though, Red have taken the second. Okay, they're immediately up front. Ten minutes on the clock here. Uh, has got blue, has blue... Do Blue have anything reserved? Ooh, nice work acting from Demon there. Just gets him a non-drunk ninja. He just pulled the acting trick of just kind of walk around the side a bit. Don't look too conspicuous, and then stab him. You know that, that's the thing. I mean, you know, you need to act a bit as a uh, spy because you know if you do it, you try going for the stabs too quick, you look very easy. And don't look people in the eyes as a spy as well. You see, you should do that. They think, uh oh, why is he looking at me? It's probably a spy. It looks like this time Blue have managed to spread together a defence. Looking good though. Can they actually attack that out though? Or are they um, going to be doomed to you know, a severe crushing defeat? That is my real concern with this particular map actually. I do find it does really need a bit more balancing in terms of where the uh, advanced spawn point is for the attacking team. There goes bad so I've meant it there with bad grammar. Looks like you're gonna destroy all the things. Not bad, he's actually getting a lot of stuff. Can he finish off that sentry? Just about gets it nicely done. Can they move in? One soldier, all oh, they've got left off blue on the point there. And nicely done. Winning capture. Very good. Okay, round round three, I think. Uh, and yes, maybe a scramble is in order. Um Let's see if can I uh, get any vote menu yet. Hmm. Scramble teams end of round. Okay, let's put in a vote for scramble teams. That should hopefully loosen things up a bit. And right now, though, Blues actually managed to come right out there and go straight for a three times cap on the point there. Again, this is where I'd obviously plug. You know, uh, for Demon soldiers, if you're not the melee type. Go with the pain train, that's beautiful, man. Nice work from set there, taking up the high value target, the medic. I mean, that's the thing, actually, you know. Really, really need to take down those medics. So if they start building up Uber charges, um, it's going to be really, really, you know, 
They, they're, it's the top strat of the game, actually. Uh, the Uber Charge beats nearly everything. Uh, ex you know, that's why you need to take down things like Sentry, which is the second best strategy in the game. I mean, have you ever been in a game where basically the entire team has just built sentries and the entire game was a complete pig to play? Because, you know, that's why you have Ubers. Because back in the days of, you know, original Counter-Strike, uh, sentries were way too powerful. And, you know, there was no such thing as the Uber charge. You had to rely on Spy to try and sap that if he was good enough. Anyway, 8 minutes 30 on the clock here. Blue's making halfway attempt on the point at the moment. Uh oh, the the well known cry of somebody may be medic. Uh the thing is, I mean it's one of those little statements that, you know, it if you say that in a server, you are begging for the cry of why don't you be medic? But then then there's some sense to that. It is a thing. Um part of the problem is if you if you got like one of your best guards playing medic, uh the part of the problem with that is is that, you know, they're playing medic, not overly offensive class, and they will then Uber somebody who's possibly worse than they are, and that's infuriating for a medic. Medic stress happens when you've got something you need to Uber and they're just not doing things right. And it's like, oh god, why are you doing it all wrong? So yeah, they're, they're, you know, the thing with Medic is, yeah, there is a cry for you know having adequate good medics, but you don't necessarily need to be the best guy in the team. Or at least if you aren't the best guy in the team, you've got plenty of other decent guards with you. You know, it may be worth an idea. Oh, thank you, Motoroyo. Motoya right? Right, try, there's a lot of O's and a, a fake vowel in there. Oh, I'm having a bit of a problem trying to pronounce that. Now, in any case, 9 minutes 8. Game is more of a standstill at the moment. This is quite nice, actually. Um, some, you know, we've seen some rollovers lately, but actually, you know, both teams are really fighting for the middle point here. Ooh, that's a nice little defensive there from Noxious. Oh, he's actually holding the point. The uh, red team still haven't really managed to take it back. Think about making a sortie or something. Oh, nice work from Sep there. Or well, you might want to do, depending on your uh, style of uh, watch. You know, instantly, as soon as you stab something, you just cloak up and run away. Uh, it's one of the best things you can do. Unlucky there, Demon. To be fair, Arby's got that uh, you know game sense advantage there. Um, that's the thing with heavies. Uh, people think that heavies is just a stupid WM1 spam class, but actually, very dangerous if they know where to aim and what to aim at and can have good aiming capabilities. They are an absolute bane, actually. Uh, Kill or Dave? I'm thinking that's Kill or Dave. Okay. Thankfully, it's a med kit there. I'm not so good on my leet speak as I used to be. I'm, I'm, I've mainly kind of learned more Dongerland stuff, uh, so leet speak has kind of faded by the wayside. And we've got Red Team actually retake the point. Can they take this and move on? Can they get the cap going? One medic and a demo man. It's all down to Ghost now, and he's Ubered. But he can't cap the point. Red need to get on that. There it goes. Can Red push it? No. Come on. Oh God, no. Oh, jeez, Blue just managed to take the point back. Or just keep it in their clutches for the time being. This is the thing, sometimes you really, really need to have a whole team jump on a point and really go for it at times, because you kind of trickery guys in it, they just get killed one at a time. Now, unfortunately with that, Blue team now decided to go on the offensive a bit more. Nice couple of snipes there from our blue team. Who well, I think steps more just, you know, make it shot in the face. That's a little bit 
class to see what's going on. Well, teams are looking a lot more combat worthy now. We're seeing less admin classes up now and much more, you know, straight up man face to face man fighting. Breakers on the move up. I think he's actually got a uh, battalion's backup gear going on. Um so yeah, he's designed really for pushing a point and holding it. So that's a nice little load out there, especially great on cart maps. Uh, get some damage up, activate your uh, battalion's backup, and sit on the cart. You've got health regen, extra cover, damage damage reduction. It's a great loadout. And it looks like blue team are moving on. Can red bring back this game anywhere? Nice looking guys there, just jumps over. But I'm afraid I think he's been punked by one other sentry. Ghost there playing a very dangerous game. I nearly thought he was going to trick out uh, Moto Yoyoro. Moto. Moto Oroto there. Jesus Christ, I can't do that name. <laughs> but yeah, I, he actually had the acting thing going on, but he did the classic thing of look at the guy, which is not the best idea. Just go up the stairs sometimes. Act like you're going to shoot the enemy team. If you actually really act, sometimes it works because people just think, oh, okay, he's on my team. They get cocky and then they move up and then you got to get into their back end. It really does work that acting thing. Now I mean it's 41. Red team are holding the area reasonably well, but can red team mount a successful attack? The thing is here, taking that second point is tricky. Um, the big problem is you can take the point. And then red might take it back straight away because their spawn point is right next to it. So you got to, you know, stop the next wave of red attackers and then head for the middle. So the, you know, the other way of doing it is you take the second and rush it off the third, hoping that your team's going to cover you while you take it. So you know, tricky, tricky tactics there. Does look like red team is making an effort, and by effort, one sky, one spy actually one of the point undisguised. But one of the big mistakes Blue is making though is they're you know attacking one flank only. Uh, they're not really uh, using all the area, and uh, that's where they're kind of failing. They're attacking that straight on the right left hand side there. And all red have to do is concentrate on that, and they'll have the natural defensive advantage. And red will start having a look at that main point there. Right. The point <laughs> oh wow! Crit demon, demon gets the crit staff there. That was, you know, nice reflexes. Well, it does look as if you know red team is hoping for the time being. Oh, uh, nice head headshot there, whoever that was. Oh no, Sep got busted there. I think the pyro just caught onto him. That's the thing. Side stabbing is an art. It can be done. You got to be really careful with it. If it buggers up though, you're in trouble. Ooh, Red's making a push. The freedom stuff once more makes <laughs> another drastic killing off. So anyway, red team, they are actually get onto the point, um, blue team are beginning to kind of counter it though. Now I mean this will be an interesting game because I very, very ever rarely see a t defending team win the game from here. That, that second point is an absolute doozy. And there does seem a bit of lag going on. We've got a couple of guys on the server who are, you know, a little bit hard on the ping. Are you uh, guys with high ping? from a different continent per chance. Our 
control point has been captured. France? Uh, well, you seem to be fine, actually. You're on 12 ping. But, um, you know, this is the thing. Ghost, uh, Octo Pudding with 400, the mob, and Megawatt there. You know, they're all three number pings. Oh, hang on, what's this? Whoa, Red are taking middle. Oh, after all the time. Whoa, we're making a break back. Okay, now can you know Red Team recover from this? They really need to push up. They've got a massive advantage going on. They have got to move. Can Red bring this game back? It's looking good. This is looking good from Red Team, though. Red, and look, from the looks of it, I don't know who that soldier was down there, though. I didn't catch his name. That was a lovely effort to keep hold the point. Look at Red Team. They are now just moving up. This is a lovely turnaround here. Red have brought back the game from first point to third. That's a great advance. And, that, you know, I'm not, I'm not just saying that. That's good by most standards, actually. Um, you know, to go back from a, a one to three. Oh, thank you very much. Eh, maybe. <laughs> You're entitled to your own opinion. Nah, no, you, you got to earn comments. Like, although not the 360 no scope types, because, yeah, nah, man, I ain't doing that. If you kill some of the fish, though, yeah, okay. Now anyway, what are Blue going to do? This is the thing with Blue Team, they're doing very well so far. I think if they, you know, bring the, they can bring this back, it's going to require a bit though. Oh, guys, they're nearly in with a chance. Oh, looks like Blue are on that. Yep, one scout doing the runaround job, Megawatt. Yeah, he came, he saw, he got killed off. Guys there still using the ch Oh! <laughs> crit crit nade to the face. That ended that shenanigans. Oh, looks like red on the move. RWZY on the point there. Um... The mob is trying to stop him, but he's not really got enough firepower to do it. Oh <laughs> no, Megawatt comes in from behind this sent so far into the air, you're going to die from falling damage. Can Red win this game? Blue are going for the quick recap back. I think they've got this. That's a lovely take back there, and they did take him down, but you know, Red team is smelling blood. Oh yes, Black Death? What's up, man? <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I do remember you. There are a lot of you out there. Now, anyway, back to the game. Red have middle point after a dramatic turnabout. And it looks like Blue are coming back as well. Geist on the point. And Red Team does seem to be non existent. I'm not sure what's happened to them. Uh, they've gone a little bit absent from the game. But come on, Blue Team, you need to get Cap in there. Can they do it? The mob. Standing around. Oh, he just caps it as well. Sacrifice would love to do it, but now Blue Team need to try and hold the area. This is the thing, they've got the point. They've now got the new cap point, but can they hold it long enough to get their respawns in? Our survey says maybe. The thing is, you know, Blue Team is doing a nice job here of actually just holding the point. They're not doing that badly. Z using lovely, lovely roots. I'm liking this guy. He knows where to go. Nice. Takes takes any from behind. There, but what, what the fuck? Where is this? Why is there a soldier here? He dies in the attempt, though. But that did confuse Red a little bit. Mm, I recognise that. That sounds. I'm using a phlogistonator. I love the phlogistonator. Noxious is showing no cowardice and will proceed to shoot a heavy with a pistol if needs be. 
Right now, Black Death is thinking about moving up or doing something. Megawatt as well. Can Blue take the second? Oh, there goes the blow up. And as that Blue is back in the game. There we go, Megawatt the mob. And yeah, Blue Team is moving up quite nicely now. They're, they're just getting the move up going on. Oh, and there goes Swathmente. That just unlucky. Oh, and the stabbings. But now, look at the blue are back in the game. They're back in the real position. Oh, spy cap. Steps on it. Can he win? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Red just got him in time. That could have been. Oh boy. Now, can Red take back that second point? This is very dangerous right now because blue team nearly got losing their fourth, and Red have nearly lost their last. So this is very, very dodgy tactics right now. Ooh, nice work from that sentry though. Recognize the spy. And credit to that spy though, he didn't go on a stabbing spree. He was trying to get behind people and have a good angle for it. So, you know, good spy skills there. You know, no pick your moment. Now, the problem is now that Blue have now got their spawn point going on. They are going to have that advantage. So, you know, Red's attempt to take the second point back was, is going to be a lot harder now. Not so they can't do it. I mean, they did. Oh, oh, here we goes. This is looking bad. An engineer. Oh, Jesus. Not because you are really trying today. This is the thing, though. Now, the thing is, Red Team does need a sentry somewhere here or there. That does really help with the um, kind of thing. There's Geist. There's a spy there as well. Wolsey on that, it's not looking good. Arby's the only guy left. And Black Death takes it. Nicely done there, blue team. <laughs> okay, round five. And that was only a really nice, you know, last game there. We saw a red bit of fight back from red there. They just couldn't really keep the offensive going. And blue managed to get them back under control there. That's the thing I like. Sometimes you can really take control away from an enemy team by just simply breaking away and capping like a crazy man. Anyway, start of the game. The scout window is still open and Blue Team is on that. Double Medic, double Soldier. This is looking a good strong start here from the Blue Team. Well, they're getting the kills in as well. And there's the mob. Nicely, This is the thing. This guy knows how to just sit in a place. No be safe. Know what to do. That's nicely done there. Okay, Blue starting the game here. Luca May's nod there. He's trying to just burninate everybody in the way, which is not a bad tactic if you're Pyro. I mean, remember the old days of TF2 when people were still scared of being on fire. Uh, that used to be so effective back in the day. Nowadays, like, ah, I'm on fire. It's just like being urinated on milk on. Okay, here comes the blue offense. Oh, jeez. There's a new but already there. Red team is backing up. But look at that. I mean, blue team is just you now just moving up, moving up. Um, this is quick. Uh, <laughs> blue taking. I'm not taking any prisoners there. And yeah, this is pretty much a blitzkrieg right now. I've seen faster games, but this is still pretty fast. And Lola Clotard there. Can he do it? Oh, he does as well. <laughs> Megawatt just couldn't kill him off enough. And that was a nice clear win there from Blue Team. Anyway, guys, that's what we have time for for today. I mean, thank you very much for, well, eventually warming to me towards the halfway through the match. Uh, but, you know, I've had a really fun day, you know, day today, you know, half hour or so to watch you guys. And, you know, interesting games. Although, to be fair, Five Gorge had a little bit of a surprise day. We saw, you know, a defending team somehow come back a bit and nearly retake this game. But, you know, eventually Blue Team kept up with their advances and made it work. And it does prove that, you know, a good couple of medics in the team can really, really help. Maybe we need to see a bit more engineering or something. But, you know, otherwise, a good game. Um, I'm going to say, what are the MVPs for R4 today? Um... Well, I think Killer Dave, actually, on Red Team, you know, very good sniper, here, there, and everywhere. 
just generally shooting people in the face uh, as is the dumb thing, and you know, just generally handy. Uh, otherwise, I would say on blue team was a uh, bad grammar. Lovely set of ubers coming out from that guy, and really helped with those good offensives. But anyway, thank you very much, guys. Uh, you know, I wish you good luck and good games.